collectibles today. But first, check out collectorzone.com. Easy Seasy saves you 5% off. And if you shop anywhere else, I do also have a link for Big Bad Toy Store down below. Today we're looking at the Alita figure. Now, this is way unexpected coming from me because I, I'm not too much into Aletta. I, I love the movie. I, I was into it. I, I, I absolutely love this figure. Yes, but would I get it? That was up to like, what? That wasn't me. Not me to get something like this. But um, here's the box. With that being said, here's the box. Um, do we have to raise lower? No, we're going to have to do this. But here's the box. Um, I'm kind of random because I started to open my figures now, go through it, look at it. <sighs> As you can see the blood inside, can you see all the blood? Look, look at that, look at all the blood. I cut myself really bad opening this figure. Uh, I tried to get through, there was too many stupid wraps of tape on that figure. Way more than there should be. I'm gonna sue. Probably not, but this is the box. Obviously we already popped open. I, I have to go through my figures now because I want to give you the real impression rather than a first impression Which is utter excitement, but I have to say man this box as you can see here This little foil right here. You see all that shiny going on beautiful work on the box there you can see Alita Perched up choking hazards. You do not want to swallow her head and then all that kind of stuff going by hot toys secret base rebel uh, base and uh, official retail store. What is this? Official Toy Hunters official retail store. I've never been, or never been, I've never been to any of them, but I've never seen Toy Hunters. 20th Century Fox. Nice. Until Fox was bought out by Disney. Disney now owns them, so it's not going to be, if there's another Alita, there won't be a remake where she's a badass or cutting off heads and saying the F word a lot. So, Disney buys out everything, makes everything PG, and makes it able to buy out, basically. Um, but other than that, the box is utterly amazing. I love the foil. I like the design. I like boxes. People are like, why would you like a box? You know, like, there's nothing to it. I mean, maybe, yeah, but I do love a good box. I mean, it's part of the experience, guys, so, you know. Inside, the cast and crew of Alita is spread out throughout the inside panel. And then you have the window for the, um, uh figure itself, which as you can see, the clamshells out, I already assembled the figure and whatnot. And I mean, it's classic good looking figure. A lot of the Batman figures come with this kind of clamshell magnetized flap, which a superb job on the box, Hot Toys. I mean, with the, with the, with the freedom that Hot Toys get sometimes out of these things, I just love, love the freedom that they, 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 creatively used. Now here's the clamshell, everything is out. As you can see her sword, pegs, extra pegs, extra hands. She does come with an open hand, as you can see here. Um, I'm gonna try to do this. I don't, I don't know how to not use my, 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 my Band-Aid finger, but there it is. Um, I need thumbs, that's how important thumbs are. Look at this, I can't even hold it. That's how important a thumb is, damn. But there it is, the open palm hand, which is very nice, I love that. I'm, I'm using that right now. You got a couple relaxed hands. It comes with two relaxed hands, as you can see right there. Very nice, very nice. And it comes with a f two fists, obviously fists, and then a sword holding hand. And it also comes with her leather um, jumpsuit, which is basically what she has to cover up all her nudity, which I don't like it because I like Alita naked. That's how I want to see her. Uh, wait, how old is she? Not gonna use that because that just covers up all the beauty. And then you have two of these shoes, obviously one on each side, and they are for that suit when you do put it on, and they're split boot design and articulated very well, uh, obviously whatever the figure can do when once pegged in. But look at that detail, look at that. It's absolutely amazing, I just love that. It's not pleather, it's a sculpt, and it looks way better than a pleather boot would. So that's just amazing right there. I don't know why they keep adding these pleathery boots and stuff. Look at the weathering underneath. It's just amazing. I just love sculpted boots. I hate pleather boots. Hot Toys, stop! And then here we have the figure itself. It is a beautiful figure. Thumbs up. And it just, that's sharp. It's not die cast, it's plastic. I mean, we're gonna get that with Hot Toys. They don't, they're not really a fan of the die cast materials using it too much, but um, 
it is what it is. We get what we get. And it, it, it is quality like and it's painted just accurately. So it's fine. I did also forget to mention it does come with this heart. Obviously her boyfriend's heart, whoever she's trying to get alive if you haven't seen the movie. Um, it does have very pretty details on it. As you can see, nice nice work throughout the heart and, and veinage and wiring going on there. Obviously that comes there and I just decided to put it right there on the base, you know, just a little add on. But let me give you 360. The, the name right here, as you can see, is like very foily and reflective, which I love. And the whole aspect of this figure, um, they they really they really went all out. I have to say, because the female figures usually are smaller and they do feel a bit cheap. They do feel a bit cheap because of how small they are, right? So Hot Toys went ahead and went full 100 on the base. I absolutely love this base. It is amazing. Um, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys here uh, into the base and do a little spin, spinsy onesie, so you can see it is absolutely epic. Like the stonework, the the paint apps, the sculpture, the sculpting around each of the thing. Now this is a separate piece. This pegs up and off. You can it's like a separate piece. Let me see if I can get it out here without breaking. But it is a separate piece. Obviously, you can see where the seam line is, and it pegs on uh, the clear stem right here. The clear uh, peg or uh, holder goes right the rod goes into the very middle, there's a hole, you slide it in, and then it has the claw, obviously. But then as you can see, that base is absolutely beautiful. I cannot get over on how beautiful this base is because I, I understand what the Hot Toys did. They, they, they turned the value into 100%. I mean, like this base, like going in, it's going deep, and you can see all that detail, rubble, I mean, this thing looks just absolutely amazing. I want to take, I had taken a, left, a lot of time on this. And it, it, as you can see the, the base behind it, it straight up looks like rock. It looks like concrete. I like how my camera's staying on focus on the back of the base. I kind of, I'm, I'm proud of you today, camera. I'm proud. I, I don't have much to say. Dog, shut up. But um, I'm, I'm very proud of you, camera. The details on the back of the base is just amazing. There it goes to the feet. Very beautiful feet, Alita. I like your feet. <sighs> anyway, um... Base, get back to the bases, come on. Uh, as you can see, uh, just amazing. The chipping, the works, the it's it's beautiful. And then you have the name tag, which is Alita Battle Angel Alita, <laughs> which they have this Alita, like, are you gonna make any more figures? Are you gonna make any different ones? Probably not. But um, if this dog keeps barking, I'm gonna cut his balls off. And then we have the figure itself, which is just absolutely epic. I don't care how much you can talk crap about this figure. She is beautiful. Oh my God. Um, the figure alone, I usually don't tend to collect female figures because of the lack of, well, everything. They don't come with anything. I'm not being, I'm not being like that. Trust me, that's, 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 if you want to get political like that, oops, go somewhere else. Um, you're not here for, I'm here for figure talk. I'm not here for your bullshit. Anyway. Um, but they usually don't come with much. They have very, you know, I mean, kind of okay-ish accessories. They don't come with much. And, and But Alita, on the other hand, this figure it was unexpected. I wasn't supposed to buy her. I was supposed to just pass up on her. You know, she, can't, she came out and, you know, whatever. But, man... After people started getting her in, after I saw all the details, after I saw what she comes with and the amount of figure you get for your money, I had to go on this girl. Uh, well, I don't mean, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just look at the detail. It's beautiful. It's full of beauty. Look at all, and I'm going to zoom out. And as much as joints are on this girl, as many as joints they have on this girl you cannot recognize a single one i mean if you really look hard obviously they're they're there but from a distance it looks like a alita statue it looks like an alita statue it it, it is not it's flawless you have beautiful butterfly joints which you can't even see until i start to zoom in and there you go you see them now you see them now right but when i was zoomed out it gets washed out 
but then when I zoom in, but then when I zoom out, but then when I zoom in, but guys, wait, when I zoom out and then I zoom back in, they're there. So that's what I'm talking about. The amazing amounts of detail, the amazing work that Hot Toys did on this figure, the colors, the paint apps, of course, the skin color, stuff like that. That's beautiful as always, too far away. Um, it's just amazing. Uh, you, having, you having a hard time right there? Uh, there you can see the head sculpt. Now, another thing special about this head sculpt is, which I didn't know until a little, a little while, I didn't know, um, let me turn the head. You pop this head off, sorry for the band-aid guys, and you get this little tool that comes with it. I did not show you that tool, did I? You, you get this little tool, as you can see here, here's a little tool. You stick it in the back of her head, and hopefully I'm in a, I'm in a, I, I'm kind of fishing around her. And then you kind of turn, it'd be better if I actually like got behind the head and stuff like that, but let me get this off. So I tried not to show you my ugly band-aid because I, I need my thumbs, but here it is. As you can see, I'm trying to get it on camera and you turn the eyes individually. Which is really, really cool with this little thing. It looks scary, but let me fix it up a little bit so you, I can at least put it back in a pose. And obviously that's what it is. It's a, it's the uh, individual eye rolling system, which is in the back of her head, as you can see right there. And you stick a little rod through and move it around. Now, that's a cool system now. Um, you put this um, thing back, basically her head, back on her head. And that's how that works. It's magnetic. It goes back on like so, and it just, everybody's happy. If I can do this one hand, and there you go. And it's back on, it looks good. The head sculpt is really nice. Um, nothing to complain at all. Perfect. Number number one, Zindabad, Zabardust, uh, that. And then the head, on the other hand, here's where I have a little bit of a problem. It is a little bit of a issue for me because because of the lack of space under her head and into the peg, it tends to not really want to stay on. See, I popped it on, it's on, right? It's on, it's obviously on, you can see. But if you just look up a little extra, easily pops off. And that isn't a really hard issue. It's not really a bad problem. It's not like something, you know, like extreme collectibles, extremely horrible. But I will say it's there for those of you who do love extremely dynamic poses. Um, but it's not bad. It's nothing bad in the figure. I wouldn't I wouldn't bash the figure at all for it. It's not it's not worth that much of a bash on a figure like this. This this figure is beautiful. It deserves I mean every ounce of its its glory right now. So let's take her off the base. Obviously I have her in a super dynamic pose, which it's not my final pose. I just had it for the video. I really like it though. As you can see in hand, it's it's kind of small. It's a very small figure. I, I have big hands, so um, it looks kind of small, er. But um, man, articulation. As you can see, articulation. I was doing this earlier. I literally, you, you can really, you can play with her butterfly joints. As you can see, it's kind of rolling out. But you can really tuck it in, and like she was like, oh my god, like she can literally, literally look at that clearance. Just amazing clearance. And these aren't ratcheted. I was kind of expecting ratcheted from a very dynamic figure like Alita, but they didn't give it to us. So I'm gonna have to be okay with that. They do have that split like pop up. You see that where it kind of, it pops up. So it gives you a lot more. That's why I don't do it. That's why I do not do articulation guys. It sucks, it kills your figures. Anyway, <laughs> golly. And nothing's damaged, nothing's hurt, don't worry, it's, it's all good, it's all good. Um, anyway, as I was saying, you can get that really nice bends in her ab crunching, so that's that's really nice that they put that kind of Iron Man, you know, split right there. I hear like two two stages of pop, so that's what that was. Um, uh, these parts do move around um, accordingly, it kind of moves around to whatever your pose is, as you can see the legs are popped up they they stretch they go every which way direction you want to go i mean it's just a matter of how far you want to take it really as you can see the glimmer and the paint on this is just epic i love it um let's close that leg up 
come on. It's so scary to do these, man. I hate it, but I'm a reviewer. You guys are like, come on, articulate, whatever. So here I am. <laughs> anyway, our, it's, it's, the legs are, are uh, ratcheted, which is really good. It is double jointed, and this one is wanting to stay. I'm gonna break my figure, guys, and you're gonna be the blame for it, so I'm not gonna go that far. It is double jointed, don't worry. And you have good foot, little feet articulation right there. I love feet articulation. Oh my god, look at that toe curling action. What do you need that for, Alita? Gang girl. You know what I'm saying? What do you got in there? What is that? What? And here we are back on Alita doing a crazy pose. What are you doing, Alita? You're insane. You're insane. So, all in all, her articulation is great. I'm just gonna go over some points in her body that just looks amazing. That head, I mean, you saw it first and foremost, that head is an issue. It is an issue. And for that, I'm gonna deduct a point. I have no problem deducting it because obviously, as you can see, I tried just moving it around a little bit. The head sh fell off with a vibration. Really, it just fell off with my kinetic energy from my body so powerful into my, her body and it just shook. She was shook. Didn't damage anything, but it's fine. Um, but everything else, articulation to your little toesies, it's just absolutely amazing. And guys, the detail is immaculate. This is already on wait list on sideshow.com or places you go, it's sold out. So if you can pick her up from, I don't know where, huh, really, but if you can, get her. Oh, forgot about her sword. This is that sword that she uses in the film. Obviously, very nicely, finely detailed. You can see all the details in the sword up close and very freaking sharp for a plastic sword. But all in all, amazing figure. I have to give it to him. I have to give it to him. Although you have a stupid head, Alita, I love the rest of the figure. The base, I like that they thought about it. I mean, the base, they're like, we're gonna, we're gonna give you the base, you know? We're gonna give you the base because we realize that Alita's not much of a figure and they threw in the base for like a fully, I'm talking about they threw in the base because it's fully loaded. I mean, this is a diorama piece with that base. So I love it. I, and I never use the claw. Don't get me wrong about these claws, but I never use these claws on any other figure, but this is all hard plastic. This figure is going to last. This figure has a very, very, very beautiful investment <laughs> process going into it. Unlike other figures like Star Wars characters, their boots, their coats, their jackets, Nightmare Batman. That's just, it's over time, a lot of people just don't want to keep them. But figures like this, you have absolutely 100% going on around her. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. A nine out of 10 is well deserved for a figure like this and you can't get any better than, I mean, what you're looking at here. Uh, if they do uh, another movie, yeah, I probably see, I, I probably see them making another Alita, but it will not be any more different i believe i believe there would be no not much of an improvement um it is it's very perfect i mean the paint apps and everything the sculpt and, and all that so that's why i'm like if you want an alita don't be like oh i'm gonna wait till they make a new one no I'll go ahead and pick it up and, and try to get it because this is perfect as is um i don't see anywhere they can really improve on besides the head which pops off due to my manliness as you can see, look at that. Under light, studio lighting I'm talking about. As you can see right here, it is amazing. I love it. So, nine out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed what you, what you saw here at Easy Company Collectibles. And, and subscribe, like, share, whatever you want to do. I absolutely love this piece. I'm gonna put it in a, in a better pose, obviously. This one's kind of wacky for my taste. I don't even know if it's gonna fit or clear in a detail, but I will see and it's a keeper nine out of ten i love this figure you can't get any better than this when it comes to stuff like that and her genre of things so it's just one of those one-off figures that you have to pick up it's a one-off yes but you have to pick it up have a good day boys and girls love me for who i am wait what